So sitting in front of me is one of the most affordable, functional, and versatile cinema camera that is out to date. Oh, tight, 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 yeah! I asked myself this question, and I'm sure a lot of FX30 users ask this question as well, but why is this camera not Netflix approved? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And does it really matter? Well, let's just cut right to the chase. It doesn't matter if your camera is Netflix approved or not. I did a video several weeks ago explaining the cheapest Netflix approved cinema camera and why it doesn't matter. But you know, sometimes it's just nice to kind of have that badge, I guess, if you will, because as filmmakers, we all want to inspire to get our, you know, short film, documentary, feature film, whatever the case may be onto Netflix. And the thing is, if we invest into gear, we expect to have great results. And just because a camera is not Netflix approved or Netflix approved doesn't mean that your project is going to be great or that Netflix will even buy it. Now, hang on a second before you beat me up. That's not to say that your project won't be great. It's just that it's really hard to get you know, your movie or your documentary or whatever the case may be on those streaming platforms unless it's something like Tubi. Um, and hey, if you're on Tubi, whatever. You know, it's just the, the quality definitely depends on what streaming platform, you know, you get accepted to or that will buy your film or etc. Anybody can submit to Tubi or Amazon Prime as far as I am aware of. But, you know, what I'm getting at really is this camera is a beast. It really is a beast of a camera and I just don't understand why Netflix hasn't approved it. Again, it really doesn't matter. If you shoot and the quality's there, the codex there, the resolution's there, and let's just say Netflix loves your movie because it's what you shot, it's the quality of the picture, it's the sound, it's the storytelling, it's just a lot of different factors besides your camera just being Netflix approved. If they find all those things worthy, then yes, they would probably buy your film, but that's a big probably. It's a big question. So really, I just wanted to talk about this camera. I think it is one of the best values today in 2023 for cinema cameras. Um, it is the entry line into Sony's FX series being the FX30, which is a Super 35 crop sensor camera, but it does all the same stuff pretty much as the FX3. Even now with the latest firmware update, it does have 4K DCI, so you can get that you know bigger resolution on that sensor. And only thing I wish Sony would do really now with this camera, because I don't think there's much more they can do, is give it the shutter angle. You know, it would re really be nice to not have to go into the menu every single time that you change, you know, your frame rate to have to change your shutter too. Sony, please, if you're listening to this, put in shutter angle. That's pretty much, I think, what a lot of FX30, FX3 users want is that shutter angle. But other than that, this camera is built like a tank. It is a great value at $17.99 if you're in the market for a cinema camera, whether you know, you're looking for something that you, know, you can just start off with, um, if you want something that you can shoot beautiful pictures with, and well, I say pictures, but I mean video with, then consider this camera. Who cares if it's Netflix approved or not? Um, it would be nice. I don't know why they haven't, but I'm just kind of wondering myself, like why do you think they haven't approved the Sony FX30? Is it because it's Super 35? I don't think so. There's plenty of other cameras that are approved by Netflix. That is Super 35 sensors. So I just wanted to talk about that. Um, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. If you create something beautiful, do it for yourself first. Don't do it because it's, um, you know, you want to sell it to Netflix or any sort of streaming platform. Do it for you. It is going to be such an accomplishment and, and such, you know, gratitude that I will have for being able to pull something together to make the two short films that I want to do. I know I keep talking about it, but even with short films, a small production, you need a team. You need, you know, three or four or five, maybe even six people to help you out. You can't really do it all by yourself um, unless you're doing something documentary. Well, these films that I'm working on are short films. They have stories to them. They have multiple scenes, you know, sound, obviously all of that stuff. And I'm a one man band, so I do need some help with it. But at the end of the day, I'm not thinking about, oh, is Netflix going to buy it? Obviously, it's a short. They wouldn't buy it. But even if I was doing a full feature, um, I wouldn't be worried about Netflix buying it or the camera that I have being Netflix approved or not. So really, that's just all I wanted to talk about today. Been a little bit busy, 
doing some wedding stuff. Um, that's more high frequency stuff for me. Got to get back into talking about um, the films that I want to do, filmmaking, lighting. So that's all coming to the channel and I hope you guys stick around for it. But if you're in the market for a camera, Netflix approved or not, the FX30 is the one that you should go with. Um, there's other cameras out there that are in a price range, but I think this is the most versatile camera in 2023 that gives you the functionality that you will need and want as far as a video camera goes. Of course, there's other options, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, that's a mouthful. Um, the Panasonic S5 II, which costs more. Uh, Sony FX3 costs more, same body, everything differences full frame and that dual base iso of 12,800 if you're shooting in dark scenes but i would recommend saving that money or as a matter of fact being able to buy two of these for one fx30 or if you just buy one save that money and invest in lighting lighting is so important when it comes to film production or any sort of video footage so that's really it just a little rant today don't know why i decided to do it got to put something on the channel <laughs> you know so um hopefully you guys will stick around and um if you would check out that last video if you are looking for a netflix approved camera which happens to be the sony fs7 and i will link that card up top so until next time you guys take care be kind to each other and i'll see you on the next one Thank you.